Hi, it's Morgan and welcome to the Dove's Nest. In today's video, we're putting together my cleaning caddies. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Morgan Dove and I am a self-proclaimed hot mess mom. <laughs> I'm currently working on creating habits and making routines that will help me not only get my life together, but help me to have a cleaner home as well. All right, we are gearing up to start our fly lady system. <laughs> this is my last getting ready to start the fly lady system video before we actually start the fly lady system. So I figured before I started to jump right into habits and cleaning, I needed to set myself up for success, right? Do something today to help future you. So in today's video, I am creating my ugh, cleaning caddies. <laughs> now I say cleaning caddies because I'm actually making four of these babies today. Sometimes I can be kind of lazy. And so in order for me to ensure that I'm keeping up a habit or a routine, that routine has to be easy. A few years ago when we lived in our condo, I had one cleaning caddy that I kept under the kitchen sink and as I made my way around the house to clean, I would just take out the product that I needed and clean, put it back in the caddy and just walk along my way to each and every room of our house. But our new house is quite a bit bigger and it just didn't make sense for me to have to carry every cleaning product and every vacuum and every broom up and down three flights of stairs. It made things too difficult, and I know when things are difficult, I'm not going to do them. So I figured I have four bathrooms, why not make four cleaning caddies? I've essentially divided my house into fours. I have the master suite, which is up on our third level. On our main level, we have our kitchen, a bathroom, our living room, and our entryway. And then downstairs, we have two more bathrooms, our playroom, our office, our laundry room, and some bedrooms. It just made sense to create four cleaning caddies. That way, depending on which area of the house I'm working in, I could go to the nearest bathroom, grab the cleaning caddy, and all of my products would be in there. And it also saves me from carrying a huge, heavy cleaning caddy up and down the stairs. Now, before I show you how I put together these cleaning caddies, I just wanna make a disclaimer really quick. I use bleach. <gasps> I know, I clean my house with bleach. I know that right now, I don't know if it's the trend or just the eco-friendly thing to do, but it seems like everybody's using these all natural sort of essential oil based cleaning products. And for me personally, I've tried them. I've tried Method, I've tried Mrs. Myers, um, I've tried making my own vinegar spray with essential oils and I never feel like my home is clean with those sorts of products. So these are products that I have used since I did chores as a young kid, and they're just tried and true products that I love using. If you have anything to say about my choice of cleaning products, or that bleach is dangerous, or whatever else, you can save it. You do you, you do your cleaning products, I'm gonna do me, these are the things I love and that work for me, and to be honest, I just love the smell of a freshly bleached home. <laughs> If you are ready to see what I put in these caddies, let's head into my bathroom and I will show you how I put them together. Okay, so right now I'm just going around to each of the bathrooms in my house and getting the cleaning caddies that we already have. Since our house flooded, I haven't done much cleaning and so most of these caddies are pretty empty. So we are going to restock and refill them. Okay, here's all of my caddies. I just got these little baskets at the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago, but they've been great and they hold everything I need them to. And then I have all of my refill products sort of behind me. Everything I got, I got at Costco or the Dollar Tree. Costco I love because everything conveniently came in packs of four. So right now I'm just gonna go through each caddy and empty out what's in it. Some of the products are still full, so I'll reuse those, but most of them are empty or there's other random miscellaneous junk that I don't need in them. All 
right, to start, I am using Clorox disinfecting wipes. You guys, this is like a new discovery for me and I love them. I use these in our bathrooms every day to sort of wipe down the counter, the water spot. Sometimes I'll use them kind of to just brush off the toilet and the toilet seat really quick or the toilet handle flusher thing. Our door handles. I also use them in my kitchen to like quickly clean up after meals. They're amazing. Next, I have this Clorox bathroom spray. This is what I use to clean my showers and also the outsides of my toilets when I deep clean my toilet. We have some spray away. I love this stuff for mirrors and glass and windows and knickknacks. It doesn't leave streaks. I was a diehard Windex girl my whole life and then it started streaking. So now I use spray away. I also have this. This is the Method Daily Shower Cleaner and I'm only including three of these. And I love these because they help keep my showers clean and mildew free in between cleanings. Next I have these Dollar Tree toilet brushes. I just got little cheapy ones. These are what I'm gonna use every day to just sort of swish my toilet and keep the mildew do from growing, not what I'm actually gonna use to deep clean my toilet. These scrubby brushes are also from the Dollar Tree. I use these to clean my shower because they're really great at scrubbing the grout between the tile, also around the drains or the water faucet, rather than a sponge, I think those work better. I also have little toothbrushes from the Dollar Tree. Again, it conveniently came in a pack of four. <laughs> and I use these not only to clean um, like my shower drain and around the faucet, but also when I'm deep cleaning my sinks in my bathroom, the pink stuff that kind of grows in the water at the base of your sink around the drain. I use these to scrub all that stuff off. These are my favorite thing of life. They're Clorox toilet tabs and you just put these little bleach tabs in the tank of your toilet and they keep your toilet fresh and smelling like bleach every time you flush it. So I'm putting two of those in each caddy. As I mentioned, I don't just use these caddies to clean my bathrooms, but every room around the nearest bathroom. So I'm adding some pledge because this is what I use to dust all of our wood furniture, tables, picture frames, nightstands, dressers, headboards. I love pledge and I love that it's lemon scented. Next I have this Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. This is what I used to clean our toilets before I discovered the Clorox wands. Most of them are still full, so I'm just putting them back in the caddies and I'm gonna use these first before I start using the Clorox toilet wands. Next I'm using these microfiber cloths. We get these at Costco in the car aisle and you get like 40 for something like $7. It's pretty ridiculous. But I love them because I can use them with any of my cleaners and then I just throw them in the wash and can reuse them. That way I'm not going through paper towels like crazy. So I love these microfiber cloths. Also they don't streak. Be careful when you put them in your laundry. If you use bleach though, put them in a separate laundry basket so they don't bleach your clothes. Ask me how I know. And there you have it for fully stocked cleaning caddies. Now I'm just gonna work on getting these extra supplies out of here. These ones to my right, I don't use anymore and they're mostly empty. So I'm actually just gonna take these out of the bathroom and throw them away. This stuff is the new stuff that I bought and we will use. So I'm actually gonna take all of it out of the packaging and then I'm gonna keep all of these extra supplies in my laundry room. That way I can check there if I need something refilled before I actually go buy it again. I'm just gonna take off the tags and labels off of some of the new cleaning products that I bought, especially these toilet brushes, because I wanna start using them first thing in the morning. And then I'm gonna work on putting all of these bathroom caddies where they belong, whether that's in a cabinet or a drawer. These baskets look really big, but I have been shocked at how well they fit into all of our cabinets or even this drawer. They're kind of a perfect size for everything. Mm -hmm. 
As I mentioned, I love using the Clorox toilet wands when I clean my toilets and we bought this giant pack of like 20. So I'm gonna put five wand refills in each of my bathrooms. I love that I can clean my toilet and just throw the little head away and I don't have to touch anything. I don't have to wear gloves. It's perfect. Now it's a bit silly that I use the Clorox wands and the Dollar Tree toilet cleaner. But again, the wands are when I deep clean my toilet every week. And then the Dollar Tree toilet brushes are just when I give my toilet a quick swish every day. Between the bleach tablets and giving them a swish every day, my toilet should stay fairly clean. One trick I like to do with these non-disposable toilet brushes is put a little bit of all-purpose cleaner in the bottom of the cup. That way it'll also help disinfect your brush so you're not just sticking a dirty toilet brush back in the cup. And I will either change that every couple of weeks or honestly it evaporates and I'll just add more as needed. I hope you enjoyed that video and it inspired you to create your own cleaning caddy. I've just noticed that if I can cart everything I need with me rather than make a bunch of trips back and forth to the kitchen or back and forth to the laundry room, I'm more likely to get things done and get them done in a timely fashion. Leave a comment down below and let me know what do you put in your cleaning caddies. I'm curious what products people use and how they love them. How many cleaning caddies do you have? Do you just have one that you take with you everywhere you go? Or do you have multiple locations for cleaning products and you just use them depending on what room you're in? I'm curious, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and as always, I will see you in my next video.